It was um, it was a really good division game. I mean, it was uh, it was almost as advertised the way we thought Philly would play. They're fast. They're tenacious. They're heavy in the battles. And I thought our guys came right out from the drop of the puck and you know had to play a certain way, and we did. So it was a really good, really good win for us on the road. You mentioned when you play against uh, a team coached by a guy that you've coached against many times. Yeah. Right? You kind of know what's coming. Was it? Yeah, I mean, like they, they like yeah, they've they've had a lot of success this year by playing a certain style and a certain brand. And like I said, it's it's got physicality to it, it's got battle level to it, and it certainly has speed to it. They're really dynamic off of mistakes that you make um, from the offensive zone or entering the offensive zone. They're back so quick, uh, coming back at us. So um, I thought we did a really good job of trying to exploit some of that with just moving pucks to areas and trying to get. Uh, chances and generate off the rush. I thought our guys were quick, and we had some had some really good looks off the rush. Did the two quick goals seem like they tried to step up the physicality? Were you how happy with the way your team responded? Re- really happy. I mean, it was a physical game. We were, we were expecting that. I mean, that's that's who they are. I don't think the any of the players that were involved in that much of the, of the physicality changed their identity today. That's who they are, and that's the way they play the game, and that's what made it a, a real good division game. What was your take on Cooley jumping in on uh, the Lindgren play? Well, with regard to, was I happy? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, what's, what's your... Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I mean, one of, one of our guys got whacked pretty good, and you know, he turned right around. I was, I was really, uh, you know, we got we to gotta stick up for each other out there, and uh, for Will to turn around immediate like that, we'll kill that penalty, and we missed him for 10 minutes, you know, for the, for the, for the extra 10, but uh, certainly the guys on the bench uh, and the, the staff were really, uh, you know, you see somebody do that, you can, you're, you're really proud of them, somebody stepping up for their teammate. What is it about the Zibanejad and Wheeler being together that made you think those guys would, would mesh certainly the way they have? Um, well, I mean, uh, Kreider and Zibanejad have been together for so long, so it's just trying to find a trying to find the right fit. Blake had not been here and hadn't been tried at the start of the season. Blake's been a top line performer for most of his career, and um, it start. They're really starting to generate some chances, and um, that's nice to see. There's there's been lots of times where I think they've played good games and they've had lots of looks and they've hit posts and they could have scored goals, they could have generated, and it just hasn't happen for him. It's nice to see the results go that way, you know, for them to, to build off of that. Did you think the 6-2 disparity in power plays was warranted? I, I, I think it's, it's hard out there. I mean, the game moves so fast. I wish we had a few more power plays. There was things that happened that got called out there. I wish, I wish it came back the other way, but the game's over. I know the game moves fast, and um, they do a good, they, they do their best to, to call it and See, you know, call what they see, but um, I was—I really liked our penalty kill. I mean, we had six. I'm not saying that ours weren't penalties, and if, but I think it's got to go the other way as well. But I—I I really thought the penalty kill did an unbelievable job. I'm really limiting things. They had good down ice pressure. It was tough to enter. When they did get entered, we were in the lanes. We were quick to attack as well. And I thought just try to interrupt what they were doing with regard to their setup. And when we did need some things uh, taken care of that came to the net. Igor was really on point today. So, you, so you've killed 11 the last two games. Is, is, is that an area you need to focus on? Is that you're not in the box as much? Or, is, or are, are some, these penalties just part of the game and, and you uh, don't think yeah, it's careless? Yeah. So I, I, I mean, I wish, I wish we were a little more detailed with some of the things we're doing with our stick. We talk about it all the time. Will's, as I already told you, Will will kill that one. And, um, and so there's, you know, some some games that seems to be a little bit more. We talk about keeping it down. They're not the type of penalty where you, it's just complete retaliation penalty. We're, I mean, we're trying to engage in these battles and we're trying to be competitive and hard in these battles. And with that, um, the sticks are down and they're they're trying to dislodge pucks. And sometimes, you, a couple times tonight, we ended up catching the feet. And um, we ended up going to the box for it. So I'd like to see it come down for us, if I'm being honest, and then we'll tell them the same thing. But in the same sense, they are competing like crazy out there on pucks and people, and that happens sometimes. Peter, I saw in the notes that uh, with today's game, you will tie Dick Irvin for 10th place on the all-time game. Yeah. 
does that mean to you? The guys at Hall of Famer? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, I've, I've always, every day, I, I'm just, I think about how fortunate I am to be here and coaching in this league and be able to stay around that long and pl work with great players and coaches like I have and coaches in the past. And so it's, um, you know, for me, it's just always an honor to, when something like that comes up, things things pop up here and there from time to time. And I always go back to the same thing. I'm, I'm blessed to be here. So.